So, back again for another video. This time we're in Kettering. I was literally just driving to the town centre to park up when I come across a massive what was it, uh, Salvation Army. So yeah, we're going to go and start our CX and charity shop hunt here in this big Salvation Army. Look, just get in the background there. Let's go check it out. Got a massive charity shop. We'll spend a bit of time in here. We've got uh, some display case over there. I'll have a look at them in a minute. But we found some video games. So we've got a DS one here. Imagine Teacher. We've got a couple of Wii ones. And then we've got some PS, uh, PS2 and a PS3 game. And some 360. But yeah, that looks about it for the games in this one. But yeah, I'll have a look how much they are because they seem pretty cheap. So yeah, let's check them out. I well, made over to the counter and, well, the cabinets. There's a World of Warcraft game. I can't quite understand why that one's in there. But that Winnie the Pooh collection looks all right. Yeah, but yeah, not a bad charity shot this. And here's the view from the car park. Over there is the shops. You can just about see them in the distance. Hopefully there's some good charity shops down there. But yeah, I've seen an uh, adver advertisement for CEX on the, in the car park. So there's definitely a CEX here. Right, let's go hunting. Let's go to the shops. Right, so here we are at CX it's in Kettering, and here's the window. <laughs> Not too sure if they've got another window outside, but this is all they've got on the inside. So they do have a front window, just not much in it. That is it. Right, let's go and have a look inside. Salvation Army in the town centre. We're gonna go and have a look, see if this one's got any more games that are worth getting. Got a few in here. Nothing worth getting, I don't think. But yeah, I'll see some games. Not a bad price. Alright, next up we've got the KCU Cherry Shop. The light was closed first of all, but as you see, it's actually open. No games. No games. Got this lovely weird shaped building. Uh, Stone Opticians. I think they should have went there before they started building it. But yeah, there's another charity shop this way. Karen's just going to go in pan stretcher first though. Nice little clock tower thing there. Right, that's just a furniture and house goods. So we're going to the British Heart Foundation, which is just here. So yeah, let's go check this one out. Hopefully we get some games. I did actually buy one in that last one. There was actually a game in there for 50p. I'll show you at the end. But yeah, when I, when I said there was no games, oh, I was lying. There was some. And this don't even look like it's open. So, right, let's go check it out. Alright, this one I'm certain. There's no video games. I've checked it all this time. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, next up we've got Ward Green. Let's go and check this one out. Sadly again, nothing. Alright, we've had another one. It is Cancer Research. Right next to a bubble tea place. I might check out that in a bit. Hmm, got quite a few in this one. Can't see anything that stands out as actually having any value, but it's good to see some games. Looks like you see on every hunt. 
a geek retreat. These are fun, they have good nights in here playing board games and card games and stuff. But yeah, don't see them around very much. They've got one here in Kettering. Well, I think that's it. I don't think there's any more charity shops. I did see this nice little area here though, where you can sit and probably do some concerts and stuff here in the summer. But yeah, I'm gonna go back now. I've got a hotel again tonight. And uh, I'll show you what I've got, including that one mystery game. But yeah, Kettering, not a bad town. Come and check it out sometime. Couldn't help myself. Bubble tea time. Oh, lovely. Right, back in the hotel room after a lovely trip to Kettering. So, managed to pick up three games from there, including one in the charity shop, which you never saw on video because I thought there was no games in that charity shop until as I was walking out right near the counter, there was a couple of games there. And when I picked him up, it's got, when I picked it up, I had a pound on it. And it was actually 50p. And for 50p, I don't think I'm going to turn down any game. It's one I've sold in, sold on eBay in the past for like between eight and 10 pound a few times. So 50p, I definitely know it's worth picking up. And you never know, I might keep it in the collection this time. And the game in question was Guitar Hero Live. So as you can see, it says one pound on it, but it was actually 50p. And there you go, there's the disc. So it's in nice condition. I think I might actually uh, keep it on the shelf and you never know, might get a guitar and play it one day. But yeah, 50p, can't really go wrong. Now I went to see it, so there was two games in there. So the first one, as I'm on to that PS2 game collecting now again of collecting racing games, I had one in there that I fancied the look of and that is 4x4 four four Evo 2. So yeah, just a nice little truck racing game. Bit of 4x4 four four in off-road. And of course, it's all complete with its manual. And for a bargain price of £1.50, you can't really go wrong. Definitely worth picking up. And the last game I picked up in there was a strategy game. And I thought, you know what? I like my strategy games. It was four quid. It's for the Xbox One. It is... Avon Colony. So you're yeah, building a colony, basically, I think it's in space. Well, yeah, it's jungles, light years from, from Earth, so yeah. Definitely, definitely in outer space, an alien planet of deserts. <laughs> so yeah, I thought, you know what, I do like my strategy games, and you can't really go wrong with that price, can you? It's one I'll be sitting down, putting God knows how many hours into to actually play. And actually enjoying games and also from uh, for our bu good buddy in sean there retro games revived it's actually got team 17 written on it there you go right there look just about to see it it's a team 17 game can we get that to focus a bit better no you have to take a word for it sean probably says it on the front somewhere but the uh stick is covering it up so you'll have to add it to your collection as well so yeah that's it we're off to the next location now for the last location to be filmed in this room. And then I'm going to go and hit the bar and get drunk. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.